Well, there are a lot worse locations to do an interview for Everton TV than by a beautiful swimming pool in a hotel here in Bangkok. In a little over 24 hours, Everton will play Leicester City here in the Thai capital. And if the weather tomorrow is anything like the weather today, then the players are in for a challenging 90 minutes. I'm joined by Graeme Stewart and Ian Snowden. Diamond, we've been here for a couple of days. It takes a bit of getting used to, doesn't it? It does. It's very humid and uh, hot, as we can probably tell from this interview. But uh, no, it's very enjoyable as well. And as you quite rightly say, say Daz, you know, great location. The manager spoke to the press nods and he said it's all about fitness and sharpness, but he'll want to win it, won't he? Yeah, I certainly want to win it. You, as a professional footballer, you want to win every game that you play and the boys will be no different and the manager won't. But uh, I think the, the biggest thing you've got to take from this is your fitness. Uh, and let's hope that we don't get any injuries. You don't want any injuries going into a new season. So, uh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be a tough game, uh, but it'll be, it'll be a good game and uh, hopefully one that we'll, we'll, we will win. Sorry. Let's hope so. What at the team hotel, Graham? There's a lot of young players here. Are you looking forward to seeing them again? I am, yeah. I had the uh, opportunity to see them at Tranmere the other night and a, a few of them you know, quitted themselves really well. I was really impressed with Co uh, Conor McElhaney. I think he looked really comfortable on the ball and confident. Um, young Luke, Luke Garbit acquitted himself really well. Positionally made a couple of really good uh, defensive you know, clearances as well, which you know, is good to see because he recognised where he needed to be on the park and what have you. So that was good. Um, but yeah, we've got a great you know, mixture of youth and experience. And it's, it's a fantastic opportunity for these young boys that Roberto's given them the confidence to, to come out here. You know, experience life in a different continent and what have you. So, you know, I'm sure they're really looking forward to impressing him. And being away from home, representing the club in places like Thailand, it shows the boys what it's all about to be a professional footballer these days. He certainly does. And as Graham said, it's, it's a great opportunity for him. But they've got some good season uh, campaigners around here, some pros like Sylvan Distan. Uh, you've just got to look at him. He, how he He's let himself go a bit, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> how he conducts himself as well around the place. So, yeah, it's great for the youngsters, as Graham said. Uh, like to Tyus Browning, um, who's who's going to be a, hopefully uh, an Everton player for many years to come. But You rate Tyus a lot, don't you? I really do. I think as an out-and-out -out defender, uh, Darren, I think he's he's strong, he's quick, and uh, that's what you, as a defender, that's what you're first and foremost there to do, to uh, to defend our goal, and he, he's very very good at that. The fact that we play Leicester City, Graham, on the opening day of the Premier League season, does that take the edge off this game a little bit? Will Nigel Pearson and Roberto try and play their cards close to their chest a little bit more than perhaps they would do? No, I don't think so, to be honest with you, Darren. I think this is, you know, Snod's mentioned it before, really and truly this is about getting your, your match fitness. You've done all the, the core work, all the, all the horrible stuff, the hard yards back uh, over, over in Austria. But they're here now to get the match fitness. And, you know, you look at the squad, there's a few of the, you know, few of the World Cup lads missing. So the, the team that starts this game is unlikely to be anything like the team that, uh, that starts on August the 16th. So, you know, but then, that said... You know, psychologically, you don't you don't want to be walking away from here losing the game, knowing that you're playing them in a few weeks' time. We've had a lot of interactivity with our main sponsors, Chang, while we've been over here, Snods, and the passion for Everton over here is amazing, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. I know the players got a great reception when they arrived at the hotel uh, to see this. Uh, Bangkok people here, the Evertonians, it's been fantastic. And uh, they can't really uh, speak much fluent English, but they did us a, a rendition of the grand old team to play for. It, it, it was fantastic listening to them. And it must make the, the lads feel proud as well that you come you come all this way and there's, there's fans there that just absolutely adore the club and adore the players. The location is fantastic. The weather ain't too bad either. And as I said earlier, in 24 hours' time, it's Everton versus Leicester City here in Bangkok. And it will be live on Everton TV.